From around the bay here with Kieran Lister at Made for the Cage 10. Kieran, a really tight fight against uh, Kevin Elliott. Is that what you expected, that kind of war? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew he was a good fighter when we were looking at him. 4-1, good record for any fighter. Watch the video of him. He's a really tough lad, so hats off to Kevin. He did well. But it was a very... I'd say that rounds one and two were very close, but they were still decisive. They were still your rounds. Is that what you felt going into the third? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously he was a good striker. We knew we did a bit of K1 and whatnot, but I felt like I had the edge a bit in the first two rounds. But, I mean, the last round, I'd say I'd give that to Kevin personally. I think he turned it round and he did well. Now, it, you know, is that is that just a pro is Is this the toughest fight of your career so far? Um, it was definitely one of them. Definitely one of them, like I said. Really strong, really good fighter. Hats off to him. Now, it's a decision win, and i got to tell you, I, I, you must be happy with it, but you don't look so happy with it. <laughs> there, that's, how happy are you with your performance tonight? No, I'm, I'm really happy. I mean, I, after the fight, I needed just to sit down. I mean, I was exhausted. Once I got a bit of sugar back into me, start to realize that obviously I've won the fight and yeah I'm really happy well, the, you, you hope that you're fighting guys that are are at a top level that are working towards a top level uh, how many fights a year are you hoping to get now um, hard to say obviously I mean with work commitments and whatnot I'll try and work it around the best I can but as many as I can you know I, I love the sport I love getting to the gym training with the lads so we'll just see how it goes and I, you know I, I believe you're undefeated still yeah yeah you know uh, how important is keeping that that zero to you yeah yeah I mean everyone likes an undefeated record I try and keep it the best I can but MMA anything can happen you know it's a really tough sport so we'll see what happens are you we happen to know some amateurs in different sort of uh, down south who have trouble getting fights because of their record. Right. Um, do you ever worry that the fact that you're undefeated and that you're going from strength to strength is going to make it more difficult for you to find good fights? Um, I mean, yeah, it's a possibility. You know, as long as you work your way up, you get a better record. Maybe it's when you get such a good record, it's time to turn professional. So we'll have to see what happens. But I'm just doing what I do. I love the sport at the moment. So. Is that the plan for the near future, or is it still a long way off to make that transition to pro? Um, it's definitely something to think about, you know, I'd have to talk to my trainers and whatnot, but it's definitely something to think about for me, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. And do you see MMA being the career for Kieran Lester? Um, I wouldn't like to say too much, but... Of course. Yeah, it's possible, you know. I'll you love it see. enough that this is, you could do this. If yeah, yeah, I really enjoy it, so I'm just seeing what's happening at the moment, so... Is there any plans for? Do you, I mean, is there a, a, another event that you're you're going to be on anytime soon, or is it now time to chill for a little bit and let management do what they do? Yeah, <clears throat> well, I've got a holiday coming up in a couple of months, so I'll get that out the way and then I'll get back in the gym and I'll have a word with my trainers and see what's coming up. Karen, it was a it, it was a great performance, and I've said that a lot tonight to the winners. But in your case, the fact is that, that this was a guy who was probably. On paper, certainly your equal. Yet you out, you outlasted him. You outdistanced him. You outworked him. A uh, great performance. Is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? Anybody you'd like to thank? <clears throat> I'd just like to say thanks to all the lads at the dungeon, all the trainers, all the sparring partners. I couldn't do it without you. Sean Colfar and Nays, but Mick Sudren, my trainers, all the lads at the gym. Thanks very much. Thanks for friends and family, all the support. Karen, thank you very much for your time and congratulations on a great performance. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Oh, <laughs>